Guys, join me as I visit Goa, one of the interesting places in India to visit. Cheers! Fort Aguada Aguada in Portuguese refers to a place where water accumulates. The fort was built on the tip of the Mandowi estuary in the year 1612. The fort was named Aguada because of the abundant springs around it, as well as the presence of a large well that provided fresh drinking water to the sailors. It even housed a cistern that could store up to 10 million litres of water, one of the biggest stores of fresh water in Asia at the time. Fort Aguada is located at the mouth of the Mandowi River and together with the fort at Cabo and at Morbogao, these three forts were the strategic defence for Goa in those days. Of the three forts, only Fort Aguada is still preserved up to today. Fort Aguada was constructed in two segments. The upper fort on the hill where water was collected and stored and the lower fort was at Sinkarim Beach where ships used to berth and then were filled up with water, fresh water for their travel. The upper fort was also known as Fortaleza Real or Royal Fort, while the lower fort was called Praca di Santa Catarina or San Catarina Square. Shaped like a star, the upper fort stands at a height of 260 feet above sea level. Join me as we have take a look at the fort at close quarters. This defensive strategy of the Portuguese appears to have worked since the fort was never conquered in its 450 years of colonial rule. The fort's primary purpose was to keep the Dutch and Maratha forces at bay and it was aided in this effort by the 200 cannons and a dry moat. Interestingly, the moat was carved directly into the laterite hillock and these laterite bricks which were retrieved were used to build the walls of the fort. When the enemies are coming, the Portuguese used to throw the oil, hot oil or tar. Oh. Defense. Oh. That was some same jails are inside. They have covered with block. Yeah, the first one. Is it? Oh. So you can see we get a good view of the Arabian Sea from the top of the fort here. This lighthouse emitted light once in 7 minutes and later it was updated to emit light every 30 seconds. However, it was abandoned in 1976 when the new lighthouse was built nearby. So you can see there, the guide is showing the storage tanks for all the water collected at the fort. You can see on the right, the moat which was surrounding the fort to prevent invasion by enemies. So as I said before, 10 million litres of water could be kept at a fort here in these storage tanks. So this is another view of the dry moat surrounding the fort. So that was a tour of the upper fort of Aguada. Let's go and have a look at the lower fort Aguada. Located at Sinquirin Beach. Now guys, if you go to Sinquirin Beach and lower fort Aguada is here, you can see the rocky built up going right into the sea. This was to enable ships to come up and bird by this fort to fill up their tanks with water, fresh water. So guys, after a tour of Fort Aguada, we're going to take the road, go across this bridge here, head to Dona Paula Beach, look at the view from here, before we head up to Panaji to see the vegetable market there. Now this is Dona Paula Beach. It is located about 7 kilometers from Panaji. From here, the beach offers visitors a most relaxing holiday option from parasailing. 
to sports fishing, snorkeling, harpoon fishing, etc. It is also an excellent spot to get the sunset view in Goa. At this area, there's also a market run by ladies selling Goan made clothing, etc., which is very interesting to see. These are all local ladies, mm. so they are least bothered about business. Oh. They don't ask you. Oh. So they know their business starts by 11, 12. I see. And Goans are laid back, relaxed. Oh. In the afternoon, they take a long break. Huh? Yes, sir. I thought it's only Spanish people do that. Yeah. And of course, it's a hot time of the day. Oh. They do their shopping early mornings, 10, 11, go to the market. But then they like to eat very good food, fish curry, rice. So after eating, like they are already <laughs> sleeping. Then. Yeah. The Dona Paolo jetty per se was closed for renovation for three years and was just about to be reopened. And we managed to get in to watch to see the jetty free of charge before they impose the phase back. Oh, is it? I paid the entrance. Oh. Where was the entry? Yeah, free. Is it free? Is it free? Is it free? No, it's free. Ah, okay. From tomorrow. Oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's new. There are two versions why this place is named Dona Paula. The first version is that the Viceroy's daughter, Dona Paula, after facing objections from her family about her love affair with a poor fisherman, jumped off the cliff here and committed suicide. Hence, the name this place Dona Paula. The second version is that Dona Paula was related to the Portuguese Viceroy in Sri Lanka and she was a woman of charity and was known to help the villagers here. Hence, after her death, the village was named Dona Paula. So guys, which version you prefer? It's up to you to decide. From Dona Paula Jetty, you get a magnificent view of the Momogao Harbour where the Mandowi and the Zuari rivers meet the Arabian Sea. So guys, this is the magnificent view you get of the Arabian Sea from the Dona Paula Jetty viewpoint. This interesting statue was sculptured in 1969 by Baroness Gerusa von Lesner, the German sculptor. Well guys, there are also two versions to the statues here. According to the Tourism Board of Goa, these images represent the image of India with figures of Mother India and Young India looking east and west. According to another source, Baron Yurusa von Lesnar really admired the philosopher Robert Knox and thus these are the statues she carved of him and his wife. Now there is an inscription at the base of the statues and what it says is Lead me from untruth to truth, from darkness to light and from death to immortality. These words are the three Pavamana mantras. What does Pavamana mean? In Sanskrit, it means being purified, and a mantra means Indian prayer. These are three major prayers from the Bhadra Nayaka Upanishad. And it's one of the first and key Hindu scriptures in the Hindu religion. Since I did look like a Goan resident, I decided to play the part of a Goan resident here. Korean. Where are, you, where are you from? Eh? From India. Gilgon. 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 Mumbai. India only. Khandesh. Khandesh. Yes, sir. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Goa. Thank you. <laughs> Panaji, formerly known as Panjim, is the capital of the Indian state of Goa. The name was changed in the 1980s. Now let's go and visit the main vegetable market at Panaji. It is one of the largest and best bazaars for shopping in Panjim or Panaji. 
You can find a lot of variety here, right from fancy footwear, handbags, clothes, knickknacks, wines, cashew nuts, local handicrafts. Cashews are here. Oh, cashew nuts. Cashew nuts. Oh, nuts? Please, nuts. Nuts is in this. Yeah. This is like a pineapple, very sweet. It is also the perfect place to buy fresh fruits and vegetables, groceries, sweet meats, go on to. It is open daily from 7.30 a.m. to late in the evening. And it's a shopaholic's paradise. If you want to take back Goa's famous cashew night, this is the place to go to. The murals you see here were done by Mario Miranda, one of Goa's famous artists. And that's uh, another close-up view of another of his murals, which is very interesting. On the first floor here, they had various shops selling various stuff from phones to sewing facilities, luggage, shoes, etc. This was the flower section of the market selling various flowers. Shanti decided to buy some fresh guavas for us to try at home in the hotel room. So it was hot walking through the market and our tour guide took us to this famous juice center, Shaker's Natural Juice Center to try some mixture of juices, fresh juices to drink. This shop was located at the ground floor of the Panaji Vegetable Market. You can see here there are various types of fruits which they could mix together to form whatever concoction you wanted. The refreshing ice cold drink was a mixture of Mango, pineapple, chiku, banana, and strawberry. How is it? Good, 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 good. Refreshing. Good, 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 good. Yeah, literally. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay out for more videos on Goa. Cheers. Mm -hmm.